Okay, we are live on Twitch. What's up, Internet? Hope everybody is doing good out there. I am coming to you live from my studio, Sitka, Alaska, on the Baranoff Island. And I've got a new project here. Um, a neat deal with the local brewery here. Um, I think I'm gonna make a whole bunch of tumblers. Um, I talked with the owner last night and talked about a project with them, um, doing some ceramic pint glasses with uh, Baranoff Island um, Brewing Company, uh, doing a stamp for them. We're just going to start right at the very beginning, um, and I don't even have a label to uh, trace from one of their beer cans or, or bottles or anything like that, but I do have this hat right here, so I'm going to start with this logo um, and kind of break this thing down, and then I'm going to take this piece of plaster right here and um, make a stamp out of it and we're gonna gonna be carving this and so I'll be showing you how all that works uh, I sort of started off with a little sketch um, you know, I got this got this label right here um, and, and just try and break this down into what's gonna be what's gonna translate what's gonna be feasible um, to try and stamp in the clay and so I think you know breaking this rectangle right here. I, th I think that's what I'm gonna start with first um, because this is my little piece of plaster. So whatever I do, you can see it's got my name on there already. I did a test transfer. Oh yeah. So I've even got another one. And these might be a little too small. These were just little pieces of plaster that I had laying around. Um, and so I don't know. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to make different ones because these these are looking a little bit, a little bit on the small side. And I think just looking at this rectangle, you know, that's not quite gonna translate. Um, but we'll see. We'll we'll try something. We'll get started. And uh, yeah, it's probably gonna take a couple of iterations to to get this right. Anyways, so no big deal. Probably be better to have a label or even print something off, but I don't even have a printer. I don't have any of the labels, so um, just draw this. Okay, so the A is kind of in the center of this, right? So I look at this, B-A-R-N-O-F, that would mean A, it's kind of right in the center. So then just do a little reference line, break this up. That's gonna be the A. And remember too that I've got to make this uh, backwards because I'm going to be stamping um, this into the clay. The lettering is going to have to be backwards. Another thing that I noticed when looking at uh, this label is that there's this line uh, coming through and this F and this B are a little bit lower down. And then the A, R, A, N, O are shifted up a little bit. Um, and then this Island Brewing Company part of the logo is sort of smushed up a little bit. So I'd like to, to keep that with this stamp. And in fact, with this stamp, I think what I want to do is sort of exaggerate that a little bit. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to fit Island Brewing Company on this this first stamp. Okay, so yeah, I think this A is gonna have to get a little bit smaller. Okay, now we'll go to this side and we'll do this B. Let me get this here so I can. It's got this big lower thing and now I don't have to get too crazy too exact with these lines because what I'm actually gonna do is take this stamp put this on 
and then flip it over and transfer my pencil line onto this stamp. Might not make sense right now, but it will eventually. Okay, I have to think about this so as not to screw up my N. It's gonna go that way. I don't know, let's try it out. So I'm gonna make sure that my pencil lines are really nice and dark. Then, okay, so this is a, an intaglio point. This is used in, this tool is used in printmaking, um, and it's just a piece of really hard steel. It's for like etching copper plates. You can see I've put some tape on it. Um, this is one of my favorite tools for, for carving into ceramics, plaster, and especially uh, bisqueware. Like if I need to sign a piece of bisqueware or like fired clay, I'll use this intaglio point. Okay, so I'm just going to make this coil of clay. And then there's my stamp. No, nah, made my stamp completely backwards. It looks good though. So let's see, what did I do wrong here? Yeah, I shouldn't have flipped it around like this. All right, honest mistake. No problem, no big deal. I'll just transfer it the right way now. Put that on there, put that on there. All right, this is better. If the camera is picking that up, but I just did that with a pencil and this plaster is soft enough to really kind of pick up that pencil line. So that's good. Nice. Now I'll just do that. Dun dun dun. Oh, that looks pretty good. So I think now, now that that looks good, you know, I'm pretty happy with that. What I'm gonna keep doing is just cleaning up these lines and just etching these lines. Okay. So I think that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It's looking good, right? And remember, this is what we're after. So looking at this, right, we're about to, we're about to conclude the carving for today um, because I need to make some plaster, right? And I'm just going to use plaster of Paris and I'm going to figure out the right uh, water to plaster ratio. And I'm just going to get, um, probably just make a little clay pad and pour out um, some of that plaster onto that pad of clay and make myself like a little plaster mini plaster slab and then I'll cut the right size right because my my proportions of my rectangle just are not not on the money but again this is kind of a proof of concept tonight so pull out the potter's wheel <clears throat> Four of these little tiles. One, two, three, four. Then I've got this thing. 
which goes on the wheel. This is called a bat holder. It's got these little holes for pins. Then I've got little pins right here. Okay, so got those in there. Put in this. Right, great, turn it on. Great, okay, we're in business now. But for now, just using what I got. So, clean this off. Let's make some pots. Yeah, that picture right now in my stream of that tumbler. That's exactly the form I'm gonna make. Oh, there it goes. And I'd show you one of the stamped fish tumblers, but I sold them all. Which is a great thing for me Okay, so get this clay centered. And this looks like a pound and a half of clay. I actually probably only need about one pound and a third or a quarter. I think these are gonna be some pretty big tumblers. This is a rib right here. And I use that flat edge right on the bottom and I stick that down and that edge right there just compresses this clay body really well. So you do that to establish a floor. Need some more water here. And I can totally relate to your frustration of trying to stream and having errors. I think I've reached the limits of my MacBook for streaming. I think I need a PC with like an actual CPU. Although I shouldn't talk shit on the Mac, like it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I've been very, very happy. This is my first Macintosh laptop, and I bought it in grad school. And being an artist, you know, I needed something that I could write Word documents, make inventories write papers, grade papers, and then I also work with a lot of pictures, so I needed something with Photoshop, and it's absolutely great for that. Okay, so this tumbler is looking great. Look at that, it just kind of made itself while I was blathering on. Okay, so as is right now, this is probably like a 24 ounce cup. It's like a mini vase or just a vase. Um, and it's going to shrink. So maybe I am kind of right on with this. Maybe this will shrink and be like a really nice standard tumbler.
And some people really love to leave these throwing lines. I don't. <laughs> it's a preference thing. And I prefer to not leave them on there. It could be really nice to have them on the inside. But since this, uh, this cup is going to get so much stamping, the inside is going to kind of get obliterated anyway. And so I don't want my stamps to be competing with any other lines because ultimately this, this cup is going to get glazed, right? And the, the glaze is going to do some, some interesting things, you know. It'll fill in low spots and kind of cover everything up, right? So it'll highlight detail in some places. You can see that fish stamp, kind of the quality. And you see in the fins where that glaze kind of pools in there. And then my name, Fisk. Like that. So glaze is kind of weird stuff and it's sort of it's always a challenge to figure out how to glaze pottery. That's that's not any news. Just I think what I want to do is come in with my torch and dry this thing out a little bit because this porcelain like totally super super duper soft right now because this is just thrown <laughs> because that's really if this thing is going to warp it's the rim that's going to be the most obvious so if you can sort of dry out the rim you can handle this pot without really messing it up where do i want these Choices, choices. And I want, I know for sure that I want to have like repeating stamped patterns. You know, I, I don't think, maybe, let's try it. Talking too much. Just need to do it. Okay. Why don't we do two of those? The other thing that's nice about throwing on these tiles is I can use these tile corners as references. All right, so we've got a couple of stamps there. Go to this other opposite corner. Do a stamp. Do another stamp. Okay, that's kind of nice. So maybe I like having the fish on both sides. And maybe like here is where the Baranoff is going to go. Or should it be Baranoff, 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 Baranoff? We'll do a couple. Ooh, that looks good. Sort of right where a logo would be. Okay. So there we've got our Baron off. And that's okay, but the Baron off itself, the logo needs needs more. So I can even come in and use the corners of my stamp to put some lines around that. And I don't like that, but now we know. soft clay is pretty awesome to work with. It always is. OK, 
Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we need the full logo. We need more. We need the mountains in the background and all that. Because there's our, there's the brewery I'm making these cups for. So, got the Baron off part right now. And the fish. I like the fish. It's Baron off Island. We're all about the fish here, up in Alaska. So maybe I'll do a few more fish here. Okay, so that's, that's pretty cool. I would totally drink beer out of this. Right, and now remember that this is gonna shrink, this porcelain that I'm using, it's probably gonna shrink about 20%. So yeah, this looks, to be about 20 ounces right now so when it shrinks it'll probably be about 16. So yeah maybe maybe I just kind of nailed it a little bit at least on the size. I'm, I'm not sold on the design. I think it can do way better. I think too since I don't want to finish these like I don't want to put this back on the wheel um, and trim it because the only way I'm ever gonna make money on these things is to be able to make them very very quickly and with as few steps as possible so I'm gonna take this wire this wiggle wire right and I'm gonna put this in and hopefully if I do this right I can get a really nice little scallop shape on the bottom when I take this off and so that's pretty sweet I'm already moving on to the next one. Okay, so we got our tumbler now. Now looking at our last one, get my hands dry here, pick this thing up. Let's look at it. Let's look at what we've already got. So I've got the four, four fish there, and then Baranoff, right? That's where our logo is going to be. And then I tried it and it looked a little light. So then I put these extra lines on there. Hate those. Hate the lines. Then more of the fish. And then we've got our nice lines on the bottom. Sort of nice lines on the bottom. I don't know. Um, we've got some water in the bottom of this. That I forgot to get out. And there's a little chunk of clay in the bottom. Always, always, always check the bottom of your pots. Make sure that there's not a puddle of water sitting down there. Sometimes grabbing a brush to get that slip out of the bottom. Really nice. Okay, okay. Grab my torch again. I'm gonna stiffen this up just a little bit. And on this one, let's try a pattern with the stamp that we just made. Okay, like that. If I'm gonna keep doing this sort of style, I gotta figure out the, the spacing between each stamp because I kinda got two 
thick spaces right there. Sweet. Yeah, and I think with more of um, the sort of imperfect moments, all the spacing and sort of the crookedness, it all sort of melds together and looks really nice and handmade in a good way. And then I can also take this rib right here. This is a rubber rib. Um, and I can put this on the inside, sort of push this out. Sweet. Nice, tall, thin tumbler. Kind of like this. So this is a form that I've made quite a few of, um, and this has actually got some glazes, or a glaze that I made from rocks dug in Montana. Here's another flavor, same deal. This is like a perfect 16 ounce tumbler. You pour a beer in this thing and then there's like plenty of room, plenty of headspace left over. And so this is just like, this is probably my favorite tumbler that I've ever made anyways. Um, so this is kind of the model. And the point that I'm trying to make here is that um, if your walls are really thick on these things, they're heavy. And especially when you fill this thing with 16 ounces of beer, or whatever um, it gets really heavy so you kind of got to be kind of got to be careful when you're making these things in my opinion for the ergonomics of just kind of holding this thing um, you don't want it heavy it's not like a mug or something where sometimes a little thickness to it can be really really nice I don't know maybe there's probably a thing that calls for thick mugs maybe it's a german thing beer steins and i'm going to use this the corner of this tool to sort of undercut a little bit remove a little bit of that clay and sort of lift that bottom up it can be really nice as a design feature but i think you can even see it in the video right now but there's sort of this little line that happens right here and if you just take a take a minute put your tool under there and just it lifts it off the table and gives this this cup just a little more life and visually i think what it does is it gives your eyeball like a very clear start and finish Same way with this lip, I'm always doing this little undercut, this little fatness on the lip. You, know, you can see it right there. See, I've got that recurve where the glaze breaks right there. So it's a similar sort of thing. It's, it's a design element. Okay, so we'll do, I really like that horizontal banding, almost like making bricks. Okay, and here's our stamp, bearing off. I think on this one we'll go, 
sure, right there. In this one, I'm going to see what happens when I don't torch the clay. It's super gooey. gonna go in with this uh, mud tool clean that up a little bit looking like a really really nice little cup I would drink beer out of that any day yeah what about you but that's looking pretty sweet so right now the, the stamp just says fair enough but eventually I'm gonna figure out how to do this whole logo so I think these little wheat things, the little wheat, um, I don't even know what you call those, sheaths. Uh, I'll make a little stamp for those. I'll make a stamp for the mountain range. I'll make a stamp for that main Baranoff marquee and probably the Island Brewing Co. I'll probably make that as just one unit and then I'll have the sheaths and the mountain. Um, I think that's my plan. But I don't know, I kind of almost like just the, the lettering and then maybe using some of my salmon, my salmon stamp here. Because, of course, we are on Baranoff Island in southeast Alaska where we've got lots of salmon, lots of herring. So yeah, these were my two disasters, my two oopsies, fiery wheel oopsies, no big deal because we can just wedge it, try it again. This one, let's do this one with salmon and fair enough. Oh, whoops. Forgot to cut this in half. Let's 
salmon. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh, yeah, I really like that. All right, that's like, that's a nice one. Good size. Good shape. Not too much, not too crazy. Be quick to make. Yeah, I like that. Take that. Heck yeah. So now I think I need to figure out the stamps. I should probably quit this video and maybe make an episode two tomorrow. Do another stream tomorrow. I think that's good. Just to sort of recap, we've got our first one right here. The Baranoff. Four salmon on the side and then sort of the logo part. We got our foot embellishment. And that's okay. I'm sure I'll make some of these. Got to figure out the, the logo. That should probably be like the full, the full on Fair enough. Island Bruco. And here's another one that I really like. I like this style too, where it's just the really tight repeating pattern. That's a nice one. And we got this one too. That's not bad. Actually, that's probably my favorite of the bunch. And so, yeah. But that's it for the stream. So hope everybody out there is having a good one. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.